road trip for five days. We're going to Dallas to see my daughter. And this will be my first road trip that I'll be taking eating fully raw. So, you know, we'll be eating a lot probably in restaurants and out a lot because we're not at home, of course. And so um, I've packed some traveling restaurant when I'm in Dallas and uh, we already ate a huge salad bar so I was very happy to eat at Super Salad where I could make the biggest salad that I possibly could with as much raw vegetables as I could put on it and, and still stay within what I'm trying to do eat fully raw so that's it for today December the what is it Beautiful family. <laughs> Bye. Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organix 50 and Raw, and this is Raw Day 71 for me. Um, I'm here diffusing my uh, essential oil. doTERRA white fur is my favorite uh, oil to diffuse. It's very grounding. It's I like the earthy, earthy smells much more than the flowery smells. It's just me. And I'm eating a uh, kale salad that I really want to make a video on and show you all how to how to make how to make this I taught it in my studio but I didn't make a video yet it's one of my favorite things to eat actually it's very filling and very hearty it has the sweet and the salty and has all the elements to satisfy the palate but I wanted to just kind of recap my um, my first traveling experience being a raw fooder and uh, I, we went to, to Dallas uh, last Wednesday morning and it's a nine hour drive from where I live I live in the border of Mexico I live in McAllen Texas and it's a nine hour drive which turned out to be a ten hour drive with traffic on Wednesday and we were gone for four nights I dehy I sprouted some almonds and dehydrated them and mixed them with goji berries and made myself some little trail mix. I had some packs of of nuts and trail mix and took some bananas and some oranges and um, my experience traveling eating raw was not a good one. It was really difficult for me. The trail mix was great but it wasn't enough. I was constantly hungry and not satisfied and Part of that's probably because I was with my, my family and we're celebrating Christmas. We went to see my daughter who's, you know, getting, picking out wedding dresses and checking out venues and ordering special Dallas pizzas and, and eating in special restaurants. And, and uh, it was really, I can tell you, probably the most difficult time that I've had since I started. I found myself really questioning why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? Normal people don't do stuff like this. You don't have to do stuff like this. The whole world eats cooked food. Why do you have to be the exception? It was really difficult. I did eat raw. I, I didn't, um, you know, I didn't like give in or anything like that, but it almost made me grumpy. It did make me grumpy actually. So then I have to question myself and say, okay, well, is it really good for you to feel this way? All this um, bad feelings and and um, and once again, it's it's the hardest thing for me being a raw fooder is being around people who are eating cooked food, and 
out. And you know, I'm not even gonna go into that because I've already made so many videos on that. And um, just feeling, I, I wanna say, it's not even feeling not normal because I don't, I don't mind if I'm not normal. I don't want to be normal, but I, um, just feeling unsatisfied. And so what I did learn from this was the next time that I travel, I have to be more prepared. I didn't take my blender, my Vitamix, and I did think of taking it, but I didn't. Uh, the hotel we stayed in didn't have a refrigerator. So I couldn't refrigerate foods. I didn't make any smoothies, which I, I drink smoothies every day. And so I didn't have smoothies. I didn't have cold food. I basically lived off iceberg salads, iceberg lettuce salads. And, and uh, it, it was really difficult. We did, I did make a video on, we went to a, my daughter. I told her the one thing I want to do in Dallas is I want to go to this raw food restaurant called B Rots in downtown Dallas. And uh, we did go and I made a video on that. And it was, you know, it was good, but you go and you order pizza and you're expecting it to really taste like pizza and satisfy that pizza craving. And it, it just doesn't, it just does not. And every time I try and do something like that with the, I made um, dehydrated eggplant bacon and threw it all away. And every time I try and do something like that, I always tell myself, you cannot make cooked food, make raw food taste like cooked food. You just can't do it. Just give it up, you know, eat something different. And uh, so, so that was my experience. So I did come back starving on Sunday night. I was like literally starving on Sunday night. I think I probably lost three pounds when we were gone. And we had no groceries, so I had to go get groceries and, you know, and so it, it's been uh, an adjustment getting back into it. And then, you know, I, my motivation, I was feeling so down. I told my husband, I need to start listening to some videos again. So I had been listening to Dan the Man and he's in, he's got some really good brand new videos with Lou Corona on uh, how to maintain a 100% fully raw diet. I listened to that, I got inspired again. They're just amazing. Hope someday to meet them, meet them both. Um, so, so yeah, just, you know, have to, you have to motivate yourself. You have to inspire yourself. You have to keep going. You have to remember the reason why you're doing it and you have to be stronger than everybody else. I was in the restaurants and I was looking at everybody and I was thinking to myself, I, why, why am I doing this to myself? I should, I could eat like them and, and you know, it would be okay. It would be, but then I thought, well, and this might sound bad and I don't mean it to sound bad, but if I eat like them, I'm going to look like them and I will feel like them. And I don't want to, you know, I got rid of all this jelly belly, most of it. And, you know, all, all my, you know, I never really felt really bad or sick, but you know, I don't, I want to um, feel good and I want to look, feel like I look good. And so, yeah, it was, it was a hard time for me. And I, I uh, was waiting to make this video. So, so if I can do this, you guys, anybody can do this. It takes a lot of extraordinary effort to do something extraordinary. And that's what I have to tell myself all the time. If you want to do something extraordinary, it takes a lot of sacrifice, more than the average person is willing to give. It takes a lot of determination, more determination than the average person is willing to give. It takes a, the, a, the power of a made up mind. It takes knowing why you're doing this. I'm doing this as a fast, a spiritual fast. and to draw closer to the Lord. And people are asking me, and when I tell them, it was a hard time. They said, well, are you gonna to continue to do it? I'm like, yes, I mean, that's that's not even an option. This is, you know, not doing this is not an option. I am committed to doing this. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And um, before I went 100% raw, I did give myself permission to eat Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's meal. And so tomorrow I will be eating a Christmas, cooked Christmas meal. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And um, 
and then Thanksgiving, I mean New Year's as well. So, you know, you have to be kind and gentle to yourself. Even all of these, you know, Dan, the life regenerator, he uh, has been raw for 12 years, but only the last year and a half, 100% fully raw. So it took 10 and a half years of, you know, him probably wrestling with the cooked food to say, okay, um, I'm gonna go 100% raw. So I have to be gentle with myself and be gentle with yourself too. So I'm gonna make a couple more videos and I'm going to eat my kale salad. God bless you guys on your journey. Bye-bye.